Venus flytraps are actually super easy to grow. We're going to go over all the basics you need to know, including light, temperature, humidity, watering, soil, and feeding. Venus flytraps love light. They require bright, direct sunlight or intense grow lights. During the growing season, they need about 14 to 16 hours of light a day, which can be reduced to 10 to 12 hours during dormancy. If your flytrap's getting insufficient light, it can cause pale green, elongated, and weak leaves. Flytraps are amazing. They can withstand temperatures as low as 20 degrees Fahrenheit as long as you protect them from the harsh winds and ice. And in the warmer seasons, they can tolerate temperatures up to 100 degrees Fahrenheit, provided their soil remains moist. Flytraps don't require any excess humidity, but it will suffer in desert climates. Now for the easiest but most important part. Flytraps require pure water from distilled, rain, or reverse osmosis. Just fill a tray with one to two inches of water, then allow it to dry out before adding more. Remember, keep the soil moist, but avoid waterlogging the plant. Venus flytrap soil must be poor in nutrients, but hold water adequately. Make sure all the ingredients lack added fertilizers or nutrients. We recommend using a ratio of one to one perlite to peat moss, but to make things easier for you, we offer the same exact soil we use on ours in our shop for you to buy. And now the fun part, feeding. Once a month, just feed a couple of the traps with bugs, just use some tweezers to place the insect in the trap. If the trap doesn't close immediately, just gently move the insect around in the trap or try another. How do Venus flytraps move? There's tiny hairs inside of the traps called trichomes. They trigger closure when two are touched at the same time. Once the trap has fulfilled their function, they naturally wither. Doesn't mean it's dying. You can just prune off the blackened traps. No need to panic. Let's talk about Venus flytrap dormancy. Dormant Venus flytraps will grow much slower and many of the active traps will die back to help conserve energy. This is what a dormant flytrap looks like. Dormancy usually begins in the fall or winter when light levels decrease. During dormancy, just cut back the amount of light you give it to 10 to 12 hours a day for at least two months. Also decrease watering frequency to prevent rot. If outdoors, just relocate to a sheltered area away from the ice. If your Venus flytrap arrives with black roots, there's no cause for concern. Flytrap roots tend to look different than typical roots. Black, stringy, fragile roots are completely normal and healthy. Venus flytraps naturally bloom as a part of their life cycle. Flowering is completely normal and not harmful to the plant. You can choose to trim the flowers or leave them as they are without worry. Hope you guys learned a lot and are confident in growing a Venus flytrap now. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below.